Okay, so Major League Baseball put this post on their Instagram page yesterday. It's a split screen here of Mike Trout and Bobby Witt Jr. Both hitting home runs and comparing their swings and showing how similar they are to one another. And we're going to break down both of these swings and talk about some of the similarities and some of the differences. We're going to go through our core principles that we talk about when we look at all hitters. Now, before we do that, Bobby Witt Jr., is a tremendous talent. I've seen Bobby Witt play as a high school player. It takes about five seconds to realize how extremely gifted and talented he is. Right now, he's the number one prospect in baseball. He has everything you look for uh, when it comes to being a, a phenomenal player and potentially a great, great major league player. Um, I'm not saying that he is the next Mike Trout. I don't think Major League Baseball was saying that on their Instagram page either. A lot of people commented about that. There's not many Mike Trouts that have ever existed in Major League Baseball. But I do think it's interesting to look at both of their swings and let's compare and contrast. Okay, so first thing, let's slow this down here for a second. Let's look at the way that they both get ready to hit. So when we talk about core principles, we say we have four of them that we break down every hitter into. The first two are basically the loading process. And so it's getting the lower body and the rear leg loaded, ready to hit. That's the first one, and then the upper body ready to hit. And if you watch the way that they both load, Mike Trout, going to have a bigger leg kick, going to have more action with his hands. He starts with higher hands. Bobby Witt. Kind of a smaller stride here, much less actions all around, much smaller movements. And so although they're both doing similar things, you see they, they both start the coil, right? So you can see both of their hips are going to start facing this way. You're going to see both of them start to get their hips coiled and slightly closed. But Mike Trout's is much more pronounced with the higher leg kick, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is you're going to see the upper body, same thing, start to coil. We call it a pullback, getting the rear elbow behind the top hand. You'll see the rear arm start to work this way on both hitters. Again, more movement with Mike Trout. He goes from a higher hand set and a bigger pullback. So he's got a slightly bigger coil, slightly more of a pullback. Again, Bobby Witt Jr. is doing everything a lot more subtly than Trout is doing it. When they both get in position to finally turn and hit, again, you kind of see the same things. Trout has just made a little bit bigger moves. He's slightly more closed and coiled, both with his upper and his lower body. He's slightly more pulled back with his rear arm. If you think about posture, they're both pretty much in the same postural position. As far as stride direction, they're both pretty much the same when it comes to stride direction, right? And so now we've put ourselves into position to hit, and I think that's one of the most important things we talk about all the time with our hitters. You have to get in the proper position to hit on time so that when your brain tells your body to swing, you're able to do so. We call it getting to your spot. You've got to get to your spot on time to hit. This is both hitters getting to their spot on time to hit. Now, once the swing starts, the upper body is going to start to work back. The rear shoulder is going to start to work under. You see it's a very similar move with both hitters. right? And so you can see both hitters, that rear shoulder starts to work under. If you think about, again, posture, right? So if we take the line, if we move this back here, we think about posture, both hitters being over the plate. We talk about getting our butts back behind our heels and our chests over the plate. And so you can see both hitters are doing that. If you look at their spines, you can see both spines are slightly over the plate. Now from there, as their rear shoulder starts to work under, notice how that spinal position does not change and so they are turning while staying in posture really really important 
And so you'll see this rear shoulder again. If you look at the shoulders, the rear shoulder works under the lead shoulder. That keeps them over the plate. That allows them to get their barrel in the zone early. It allows them to, t to attack the ball from the inside. If you watch both of their barrels right here, notice how they're both working in almost the exact identical direction. They're both going back towards the catcher. They're very tight to their body. And this is what we mean when we say swinging from the inside. Now, if the ball is away, both hitters can let their barrels out away. If it's middle, they can let the barrels out middle. And if it's in, they're able to stay in and pull the ball. Right? So very, very similar. If you think about their posture, think about how their rear shoulder works under. Think about how they turn and remain in great posture. Think about how their barrel works back right? Their barrel works rearward back towards the catcher from the inside. And so they both get into very, very similar positions. Right? So both of these pitches, the one the Bobby Witt is a little bit more inside, the one the Mike Trout is slightly more middle, but they're both able to stay inside the ball and hit home runs to left field. If you notice the back foot, I get a lot of questions about this. Now, every hitter's back foot works slightly differently, but you'll notice that both players have this little bit of a scissor scissoring action. So if you look at Mike Trout's back foot, his foot works back in this direction. Same with Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt's actually moves back a little bit more than Trout's does. You'll see Certain players work their back foot like this. Jose Altuve is a player that comes to mind. There's plenty of guys that do it. We don't personally teach our players to work their back foot like this. We talk about the four core principles. You can watch enough players in the major leagues to see that back foots work in many different ways. And so not every player is going to work back like this. There are plenty of players that do. There's plenty of players that don't. But interesting to see that both of these players do do that with their back foot so we'll play this here again for a little bit when you watch now in normal speed and then slow motion you can see again a little bit more subtler movements by Bobby Witt bigger movements by Mike Trout but they're both getting to similar positions they're both staying in posture they're both working the rear shoulders under their upper body's back and their barrel's back. They both have extreme athletic gifts. They're both great athletes, plus runners, explosive, quick twitch. So again, this is not to say that Bobby Witt Jr. is the next Mike Trout. <laughs> There's only a few of those ever created in the world. But the talent is undeniable. And so it'll be very interesting to see how such a young player continues to progress. But there's no doubt that he has a great swing as well. And so when you put together a phenomenal athlete and then you give him, or you don't give him, but he has a great swing, you've got a chance to be a, a a top level player at the major league level for a long time. So let me know what you think about this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to learn more about the four core principles of swing, three absolutes as well, uh, we have 30 plus drills, probably almost up to 40 now. We're constantly adding new drills to it. So we have a, a hitting course online. You can check in the description box below to see more. Um, but we talk about all these things in much more detail there so definitely check that out that's all we have thanks again for watching we'll talk to you later if you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season this is essential for you matt antonelli here former major league player first round pick and college coach with this course we're going to show you exactly step by step how to generate power develop bat speed and enhance swing mechanics regardless of your hitter's age this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring we have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more.
It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.